Pennywise from the 2017 movie it it's the one six kill figure we are going to check today hello how's everyone doing welcome back to my channel so we got here the third release from inart a one six kill figure pennywise this is a silver branded release we got joker was a platinum gandalf and inart are both silver graded and this here is the art box that it comes with very similar with gandalf you got that clear paper over the art box that gives some nice effects both in front and in the back here in the back you can see a red and green balloon that then give us a pennywise face but looks pretty good is a big box this one way bigger than gandalf and quite heavy too but here it is is all white only with a it logo on the front with some small effects and then here in the down you do have all the warnings everything you need to know about this figure i don't want to spend much time here with the box because it's heavy to handle and to show you everything here in the side you got pennywise in the back then you got this very crazy photo of the our clown and then here to open it it's basically like gandalf attached by magnets a flap you open it up we got as well here the pennywise ticket the movie ticket pretty nice these details from in art and you got here the date uh, june 30 uh, 2022 then here in the instruction manuals as you already know with other figures in art show us everything however with this figure there's some differences we have a big diorama that we need to assemble ourselves is kind of important to check this manual before handle the figure we have again a letter from in art that comes here explaining something about the story of pennywise and their production and so on it's a good read and i recommend you to do so like they did with gandalf we have everything packed in layers with pennywise too here in the front you can see the first layer with our body with a balloon extra ends and some other accessory a second layer where there's the wood parts for the diorama and the third layer with our head sculpts and the rest of the diorama so i'm going to take everything out for us to check closer and here we have everything that comes with our pennywise and i have here the hot toys one too because we will compare some accessories between in art and hot toys i did a review on the hot toys before if you want you can also check it afterwards let's first take a look here at a couple of hands and compare them with the hot toys version we got here these paw hands with these huge nails very very cool designs i always use these ones on my hot toys here is the hot toys version as you can see there are subtle differences between the two i think the in art one is bigger and has a bit more detail but the hot toys one is not bad at all they are very very similar it depends on your preference i think they are both really good let's check now a pointing finger hand that is also a common hand we use with pennywise and as you can see the hot toys one here in the left is a bit different than the in art one basically the paint application the weathering they do is a bit different it, def it depends on your preference in my opinion i still prefer the in art one checking now here the balloon that is a very important accessory for our pennywise and in art did a detail here that i think it's amazing they add real string to attach the balloon into the wire and gives more realism while the hot toys one the wire just goes inside the balloon it doesn't look bad but i prefer the in art one at this moment it looks more real and doesn't have that seam line that the Hot Toys one has. Is a bit heavy the in art one, but I still prefer it. But you can give me your opinion. George's uh, paper boat here in the hand we have the in art one that looks exactly like a paper, a cardboard boat. The Hot Toys one has that shining finish. I do like both. If I had a paper boat, I would say that the one from in art is more close to be a real boat made of paper but both look good now for the in art version we do got some extra goodies that we didn't have with the hot toys but they also did other accessories we got here a circus ticket pennywise a dancing clown i do like the printing quality they add to this it's a very good cardboard not just the simple paper and the quality is good we got here then a pennywise house where he sleeps as i remember very good quality printing here and then we got two maps here i think is from the sewer system dairy sewer system 
this is a smaller map and then I think the other one is just a bigger version if I'm not mistaken exactly is a dairy sewer system one is smaller one is bigger but they look very good printed and the quality is good for the accessories that's all later I'm going to assemble the diorama and show you how it looks like but now let's take a look at the head sculpts let's start here with the first Pennywise head sculpt and this one should I say a calm head sculpt it's not calm at all because I still think it's very very creepy but the paint application all the details on the forehead where the rooting starts looks really really good you can see those green eyes with the yellow teeth it's very very creepy the rooted hair is very well done it has a lot of product some kind of hairspray because it's very well fixed but this head sculpt in hand is astonishing is different than the other ones because it's separated from the neck but we will check about that later now let's bring hot toys head sculpt and compare side by side you can see you can judge yourself in my opinion i prefer the in art one not only because of the rooted but all the details are more evident on the um, in art head sculpt the hot toys one still a very good sculpt but here i think in art wins easily at least in my opinion if you have a different opinion you can let me know in the comments take a look now at the second head sculpt and this is the menacing one this is the real deal here i would say is the money shot the pennywise the in art pennywise is all about this head sculpt because let me tell you this head sculpt in end it's really really creepy the amount of detail on the teeth those eyes looking at you and then that air all messed up this is a very beautiful work done by in art but we can bring here the hot toys one to compare how it looks like hot toys didn't change the hair or anything they just had those teeth over there but i think it's fair to say that in art here wins easily because it's way more scarier and you can see the head is a bit bigger than the hot toys one i think there's also a scale difference between the two i'm not saying the hot toys is not a good one i still like it but here in art wins easily in my opinion of course this head sculpt is in my opinion a masterpiece as i was saying before these head sculpts are different than the other ones they are separated from the neck because the rolling eye system are independent you will move one eye independently and you have those joysticks there inside it's a bit difficult to use the fingers but here you can see i'm trying to use my finger and i still can move the eyes pretty well but every time i move the eyes in this head sculpt it feels more and more creepy because with this head sculpt if you have the eyes going all over the place it really looks even creepier than it already is but it's a very good option that you can move each eye independently that way you can do a lot of crazy faces for your pennywise taking a look here now at the suit and the body of our pennywise this is a basically a very similar suit to the hot toys one i think the body is bigger everything in this suit is a bit bigger than the hot toys one there are a lot of concerns about these shoulder par parts here and about the collar i will address that later after playing a bit with the figure here you can see where the head sculpt will attach same as gandalf and joker and you can see here this collar have a lot of layers so i think it's all about the fetching with this collar the material they use for this outfit feels very very good the ends i forgot to mention are all again with magnets very easy to install you just need always to apply some strength and it will stay in place you can see here that it's a more dark gray suit than the hot toys one the boots are very similar but there are a few differences that we can see when i bring here the hot toy suit and here it is you can see that the size is a bit different is larger on the on the in art one and the hot toys one of course is a cleaner uh, suit but i think the scale is the big biggest difference here probably because of the body the rest of the suit is very similar but of course the in art one is more dirty has more weathering on the suit and especially in the back the in art one is much more detailed than the hot toys one 
not only the weathering but the details on the fabric is a bit different too. Depends on your preference. In my opinion, I think the Inart ones looks better. As here for the Inart Pennywise articulation, the boots have a good articulation. The knees, you got double joint as it should be. This part here of the pants are made of a very nice material. It's not just a cheap fabric. The material feels really, really good. All the suit feels like it's a premium material. In the arms, you will not have any issues with any articulation. You can rotate the arms as much as you want. I'm being a bit careful because I want to damage here the shoulder part because I want to check how it works out. The elbow, also a very good articulation without any problem. And then here the torso is where Pennywise has the better articulation because you basically can sit him without any problem. The torso articulation is really, really good. You do have also a bit of uh, articulation on the waist, but I think the most important is the torso if you want to see him. As for the diorama ear base that has Pennywise dancing clown, this base is very, very heavy, let me tell you. I don't know, it's because of the magnets, but it's a very heavy base. That's why the box is a bit heavier than Gandalf, but these material, the paint application and all this detail on the wood looks amazing. In the down, as with every figure from Inart, you got all the details there. But here, the paint application and the details they give into this base are really very, very good. We got as well these two steel poles that will help to support our stage. We got then this creepy background that is made of wood that you will install then in the back of the display base. You got two options. This one is like a fire effect. Both look very well done with a very high printing detail. We got then these two pieces that we will assemble in the front of our diorama. We got then this top part of the diorama that comes with this kind of attached strings made of real fabric. The material feels very, very good and gives a realism onto this diorama that is, in my opinion, impressive. We got then the curtains, the curtains are all damaged with this red color, but it's a very nice detail that it got the rings and you can move them as you want. There are different variations you can do with this curtain and then there is where we will attach those two poles to fit well our curtain. Here it is after install how the diorama looks like, I think looks impressive. Don't mind the curtains because of course you can remove the strings and have the curtains all open. I just assembled this for the first time to see how it looks like and then I will think and study which way I want my diorama to look like. This looks very very nice. Imagine having your Pennywise in the center there and behind all this scenery that looks very very well done. The base, as it's normal within art, comes with the magnets, it stays in place and you will not move this base because it's so small I think will not give you any troubles. I already changed here our Pennywise to the second head sculpt because it's the one I'm going to use and we are going to address the color situation because we saw some photos, the color seemed too big, then in other photos seemed better. From out of the box the color comes completely leveled. Then you need to work with each layer and depending how you want your color to look like, it's easy to do it. You just need to spend some time. This is the first time I'm trying to move with it. It's easy to change as you want. The head sculpt, of course, every time you move the head sculpt, the color will change. You need always to adjust it, but this is a 101 on one six scale futzing. We all need to learn how to do it. The shoulder parts here, exactly the same. If you compress them, they will be look smaller and you can expand them as you want. This is again user preference, it's not a quality problem at all. I think it depends how you want them to be. As for the legs here, is exactly the same, this kind of baggy pants. You can also compress them or expand them as you want, it depends on your preference. So all about this Pennywise, it's a bit about your futzing, your preference and the way you want your Pennywise to look like. And I think this is the right, right way to be. And here it is with the other background option. This is how it looks like. In my opinion, I still prefer that blue one. I will change between the two and decide later which one I will use. The Calmet Sculpt, just to show you here very briefly, it's the same way as the other head sculpt. The eyes move independently, you just need to use 
your finger with the lever you want and you can see the eyes go all over the place making this Pennywise even more creepy. If you have the Hot Toys body and you want to use the Inartet sculpt, you can do it, it fits perfectly onto the body, however I think the head is a bit bigger in my opinion, but again, it's another option that you have. So here we have our Pennywise from Inart, this was just a quick unboxing, but I had a lot of fun with this figure. I think the two head sculpts are perfectly done, I prefer that smiley one, should I say, both of them look really really cool, it's a figure that I will have a lot of fun posing, as I'm learning how to pose, this figure will be perfect for it, once again, Inart nailed this figure 100%, I think this is by far the best Pennywise 1-6 scale in the market, that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see you in the next one.